Okay. Okay. Tag okay. me. Rip my friggin' rip You're my friggin' a bunch chain of off. Fucking assholes. Okay. Yeah. You got it all on camera. All right. Step. On their driveway, their driveway, my driveway. The the right so they knew I called the cops. No they come out. You got a fucking problem? You got a fucking problem? I'm going to let you listen. We'll talk calmly over here. Okay, fucking truck's going to fire. He's a fucking, like a fucking check in his brain or something. Okay, so they, because that's why they came and they stop and says that I'm um, our fucking truck. I just got done walking my dog. Fucking girls are dying against me. Really? The they come really? out. They I come out. I'm walking the dog. Came, came they come running. out on the porch. They start yelling. No, where's the first thing? Where's the sleep? Where's the sleep? Get the video from the phone. Stop from the camera. This is going to be a problem for you. Three of them pushed up. Okay. Cool. Then get over here. I sure fucking am. She's good. She's good. She's good. My daughter dog. and my son are both no, Buffalo police officers. I know, I know. And you I'm calling right now. Dude! You would not want them put, putting your hand, somebody putting their hand. Dude! You are not going to fight a cop. Hey! You yeah. arrest my fucking wife, you're going to be sorry. Not a, not a, not a my son and my daughter are both I police don't officers. Care. I don't okay. care. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me, dude? I'm so done listening to you scream. Why? Because it's the truth, it's fucking No, because I want to hear everybody talk. 15 years of I bullshit. I want everybody's story. You're cheering them first. You don't I'm understand. Gonna... Ask any neighbor. Listen. That doesn't mean I'm not going to listen to you. I'm you need to, to get the... Say. If you don't get the cops you ever right now, you're going to have a problem. We're not doing that. We're not threatening that. Say. You need to get the cops off her. She's going to send them back in the car right now. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do for he right now. He needs to get the cops off her. We're, 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 we're not going to do that by your demand. She's going to send them back in the car. She's going to be in cuffs. Okay, and that's what's going to happen for right now. Let us, work, let, let us just work this through. We didn't do nothing. We basically walked the dog, came back, and they come out of the house. They're like, you got an effing problem where the truck is parked? No, I heard that when I was taking a dog in the house. Okay. My wife was still outside. She walked over. She goes, yeah, move the truck. They friggin' bolt from the porch. The girl's got a friggin' hand on my wife's throat, and that's when I walked over there. And that's when it all started. Okay. I mean, are you friggin' kidding me? They can't wait to start trouble. Talk to any... Those two neighbors with the dogs don't even live in the street, they know. Mm -hmm. Yellow knows. These guys know. He knows. The guy that was just here knows. Mm -hmm. They can't wait to start problems. Okay. Okay? And listen, I'm good friends with Byron Brown. He's like, you know, what's up, Mark? Just friggin' ignore him. I did ignore him. I called and said, the truck is friggin' bark blocking half the driveway. And then when we come back, that's how it is. Mm. I'm talking like this, he's friggin' punch me in the face, and I'm getting a fat lip. So, but I wouldn't have my friggin' shirt rip like this. He friggin' tore the shirt, grabbing me, and friggin' ripped my necklace off. Okay. Okay, like, like, yeah, like I'm, I'm fighting the guy. Okay. I mean, I walked over to grab Maria. He goes, oh, you want to go tough guy? I'm like, no, Joe, take it away. Boom. And push. So let me ask you this. Two, two questions. First off is how do we prevent something like this in the future? Oh, do it. Assembly event. Okay. With these two, they, they, I mean, the whole, everybody, they start, next week we'll be with them. Okay. The next week after I mean, I'm, I'm going to ask some of these people because I, I want oh, some trust. Because, me. I mean, I'm sure you understand I'm fair. getting... Get around the car and I'll bring her inside. And I didn't mean to tackle you, but I mean, you kind of threw my wife down on the ground pretty hard, and I don't appreciate that. I understand that. All right? I really don't. If, that, if I would do that to your wife and you're outside, you'd do the same thing. Sure, well, if you were a police officer okay? and she was screaming no, in my, my face. No, my daughter's a police officer, and I know what you guys are going through right now, and trust me, my daughter's a police officer, my son-in-law's a police officer, my brother, my, okay. my, and my son's a police officer. And if approaching her like that, she would have done the same thing. No, you grabbed my wife from over there and dragged her over here, which was not necessary. Okay. So you need to chill out about that. I'm just, well, I'm I have just a giving, camera, so that's all documented. I don't care about your camera. Just take a little constructive criticism, dude. Okay.
okay? Let me give you some good constructive criticism. You want to drop another copper's name? You want to scream about, you know, Bamali or the mayor? Why don't you shut the fuck up? Sorry, and you kiss that quiet. Shut the goddamn mouth. Push your hands right back. Push your hands right back. Okay. Down. You want to be difficult? You want to you want to say you all these coppers and I know all these things? No, you want to make us look dirty? Is that what you want to do? I so how am I helping you now? How, I, tell me. I, tell me, how can I help you? My how? Shut, shut, the, shut up and let me oh, talk geez. to you. Oh, geez. Okay, sir. Shut up. Shut up. Man, let me talk to you. Since you had so much to say and you touch a cop. So let me talk to you. Okay. God. Let me talk to you. God. Quiet. Quiet. No. You're not done talking yet. And I'm not done talking to you. So let's be quiet, Dad. So son can get some words in. You're saying everybody's fucking name and dropping everybody's name with a badge. And you're expecting a special treatment. How does that look like to everybody in this good. environment right That's now? It doesn't look good. I know. And if you're you right. grab him, you're what do you want me to do? You're what do you want me to do? Why are you still over talking? You're going to be We're going back over to my car. No, no, I'm just no. saying you're so right. We're going over here now. Okay. You smell like sheep. And you didn't like it here. And you're touching his fucking car. What is wrong with you that you dropped your daughter's name? Lieutenant gave me instructions to, uh, this is Detective Constantino, to b bring the phone over to you and let you talk. I believe it's on, on speaker now. Oh, hey, Mark. Mark. I'm sure I got the volume up here. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. The Bluetooth is on. Here we go. Speaker. Okay, there. One more try. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. All right. They're saying that you pushed an officer. You didn't. You wouldn't do that, would you? You know what? When he when he was when he dragged, well, he dragged Maria. When the two girls were on Maria, he was dragging Maria across the street and actually was taking her down on my front lawn. And I basically said, listen, just, like, talk to her. And I pushed him. And I said, don't friggin' tackle her. And I pushed him. I apologized to him, Mark, right after that. Because I said, listen, I respect you guys in law enforcement. You know, you know, I go, my daughter's a police officer. My son-in-law's a police officer. All my family's police officers. I never mentioned Byron Brown's name. What we said was is that the guy across the street parks the vehicle, which is a Byron Brown-owned vehicle, like, like he blocks driveways, and they did it with all four cars tonight. So, yes, I was wrong by uh, uh, telling the police officer. I pushed him and said, "Listen, don't tackle her like that." I said, "You know, she'll she'll talk to you." And you know, I don't know what every other neighbor said, Mark, but trust me, like the. I know that this has been going on for like ten years, but oh, uh, Mark, how is this going to stop? Mark, listen, I understand it. I was in the house when I was bringing the dog back and I called 911 because the car is blocked on like a quarter of the driveway apron. And then when I came out, the, these girls, like they had Maria in a chokehold. And Joe was egging them out, like, yeah, fight him, fight him, fight him. So I came over and I friggin' said, Joe, tell the girls to get off. He pushed me. I pushed him back. And then there was a scuffle in the middle of the street, mostly with the girls. And then Joe trying to push me, rip my shirt off, broke my necklace. He fell forward when he tried to swing it with me. I backed up. He fell forward. He's like, oh, now I hurt my shoulder. Now I'm going to sue you. I'm like, Joe, I never touch you. But really, it was like kind of a girl fight. Uh, but I should have done what I did to the officer. And before I was put in the car, I was apologizing to him. And then, I don't know if it's a lieutenant, heard, you know, that's what I did. And trust me, I feel bad about that. But... You know, Maria's like five foot one. I'm like, dude, you really don't need to take her down like that. You know? I mean, I didn't tackle her. I, like, pushed him and said, listen, she'll listen to you. You know, she's fired up because these girls were just choking her. And I think every neighbor saw that. All the neighbors were out here. Why did they jump her to begin with? Because as soon as we, we called 911, we came back from walking the dog. All three of them came out on the porch going, you got an effort problem with, you know, where we parked the car. What do you, why don't you call the police? And I'm like, we already did. So I'm calling the cops. You know, I, I called the police already before I ever took Fredo for a walk. It's on 9-11. I called D-District first. They said they kind of called 9-11. I didn't want to freaking have a conversation. I just said, oh, I have a parking. I go, Bray, I'll have a parking guy come down here and look at it. And they'll put a ticket on the car. No sooner am I taking the dog in the house, because Fredo can't, like, really walk. They were outside walking to the street. Maria was on our side of the street, 
like I can hear swearing, and when I come out back out of the house, she's engaged with the two, like a cousin from New Jersey, which is her truck, and the other girl, which is Joe's wife. And she was in a friggin' chokehold. So I ran over there to break it up. Then Joe pushes me. He has a camera. I'm not sure if it's on or not. I have a ring camera, but it's probably not going to catch it because of the tree. And then he goes to swing at me again. He falls forward across my driveway. So I'm like, listen, dude. I'm, I'm just was trying to... Was the cars blocking your driveways or were you just... No, the, the, the friggin' the, the... The the car's still here. It's like blocking like the driveway apron, like when you try to make the turn, and the other car is blocking the other apron. And they don't like that. I got a permit to expand my apron, but they've been at the city council fighting that now for five years. And they're like, the apron's fine. You got a permit for it. It's fine. And they just don't like that. So they park all their cars on the driveways. So you get, so where's Maria sitting next to you? No, she's in another car. I mean, I just, the thing that freaks me out is that everything you do is going to be scrutinized because of your job. Well, Mark, I never mentioned anything about my job or who I was. You could ask any officer. I never mentioned anything like that. All no, I said I was, my, I, all I said was, arrested, that's going to be in all of, you know, that's going to be on. Yeah, I, I understand that. Listen, I understand that. And well, you know what? If you I listen mean, to the neighbors, the neighbors are like telling them what happened. But listen, yeah. it, for me, it doesn't look bad. And, you know, I should have pushed the police officer. And when I did, I backed up and said, listen, I'm really sorry, but you don't have to tackle her. You know, I mean, you know, I go, I, I, I'm 100% for you guys. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, no, I know you are. That's we're all on the same page with everything. So I'm actually surprised that I'm sitting in the car. I'm surprised I'm sitting in the car. I'm racing in the car with what the neighbors, I don't know what they said, but we were not the aggressors here. Hey, Detective. So. I mean, my, my, Mark, my shirt's totally torn. Like, my necklace uh, is ripped off my neck. There's, okay. Sorry. Mark, you know. I need yes, my phone. Sorry. I need my phone. Oh, I'm I sorry. I need to call um, Walker real fast, okay? Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good.